if we're if we're pushing forward to single figures or zero figures, you're saying we need to extend lockdown be beyond December first because by December first we will not have zero COVID. I think we're already doing better than a lot of us anticipated, um, and so we'll have to see how they progress. Um, I think certainly going uh, at least a few weeks beyond December first would be in everyone's best interest. I don't think we're, we've been communicating. We've been communicated reasonable expectations from the government on what our Christmas is going to be like. It's certainly not going to be anything like the Christmases that we normally have anyway. Um, and Kira, the important thing is we're all in lockdown now. We're paying a heavy price anyway. We want to make sure that we get the right benefit from it. We won't be getting that if we have another lockdown in January. But, but, but hold, right. hold on, no, hold on. Because what you're saying is we should, ex well, I, what I'm taking from what you're saying is we should extend lockdown. So instead of coming out of it on, on December 1st, you're saying let's go for another few weeks. What's the difference if we go for another few weeks at the start of December or if we go for another few weeks in January? If we're, if we're talking about extending lockdown, a second lockdown means overall that's the same thing, but maybe we'll be a little bit closer to the vaccine then. Because if we open up in December, we'll be in level two or level three restrictions, not level one or level zero. So it won't be full freedom. And then we could be back at a thousand cases a day and then back in level five in January. And this yo-yoing in out of level two, three and five. Is but the modelling, Tomas, the modelling, we, we won't be back at a thousand cases per day instantly. And if a thousand cases per day don't arise till maybe February or March and a vaccine is available by then, then is that not a reasonable position for people to take? We are asked, I mean, I know the value of lockdown. I can see the case numbers falling the same as you can. But we're asking huge things of people. We're asking people to stay away from their families, their loved ones, maybe people they haven't seen for months, maybe their relations in a care home. At what cost? Are, are we, you said it would be, it would be you know, profitable for us to do that or valuable for us to do this. But there's, there's, there's two sides to the scales, isn't there? Well, I think look at what's happening right now in most of Australia. Life looks pretty wonderful there to me right now, something we haven't experienced in nearly a year. And even with the positive news uh, for a vaccine, if we wait for that to, to return things to normal, we could be waiting another six to nine months. Um, I think we can return to a normality that's quite like life right now in most of Australia. Uh, by early January, which would mean level less level one or level zero restrictions by January if we get rid of this. So now. are you saying sort of skip Christmas and the new year will be good? Is that is that what you're saying? One way of looking at this would be to delay Christmas until the end of January and have a real Christmas and a real party then.